this question here. I have a question. Is it possible to do this with five drop downs to make them behave the same way no matter of order which was selected first? And I actually did reply uh, to this question. So I can't really think of a use case for this. What you're describing as a five way multi to multi relationship. Do you have an example code? The guy never replied back. I think it's a guy. Um, I can't read Russian, but. Um, but uh, I actually, uh, the longer I thought about it, the one kind of crazy case that I came up with my, in my head that would sort of, I guess, make sense is maybe you had a game that could do something like this. Uh, let me switch over to Visio Studio. Um, I came up with this code. Uh, da, 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 da. And what this does is if you select one over here, it, if you select, uh, sorry, one again, it will actually blank out one in the first place. So let's say I select two, let's say I select three. That's all good. It'll let you do all that. But what if I go back and I select one for the first one, it'll blank out the first one, uh, the, the first selection so that you have to go back and pick two. In other words, I want you to be able to select only unique uh, numbers that haven't been picked before. So if you pick another one that was picked before, it will blank out that box elsewhere. Does that make sense? And then hopefully you'll press the send and it, uh, of course, send will validate that it's not all set to none. If, it, if they're all not set to none, then it'll, of course it assumes that it's a, 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 I guess a string of unique numbers that you can mess with. So how can we easily do this with HTMX? Well, <clears throat> it's not hard at all. Actually, um, I cheated. <laughs> uh, yeah, it feels like cheating. Anyways, with HTMX, I, I'm not actually controlling each and every uh, selection box. What I actually control and look for is an event within the div that contains all three selection boxes which is a cool thing you can do in HTMX so let's look at the code real quick and the code is kinda simple and of course I am uploading this to get so if you wanna look at the code you can download it and all that good stuff if you wanna send me uh, you know a bitcoin or two or <laughs> uh, a free starbucks or something like that uh, just uh, email me <laughs> I'll be happy to accept donations. Uh, but the trick is this. So as we look at the code here, we're going to see that um, really I have this one div that contains all three selections that I happen to have. And that uh, and, and, and each selection, so that I know which one is being selected, I uh, have a callback, which is on the Flask side of things, the server side of things. And what differentiates each one of those guys is the ID. So my first uh, uh, combo box there is uh, callback one. My second one is callback two. And my third one is callback three. But what happens? Well, this entire piece of code actually gets replaced by whatever my answer should be. So <clears throat> that's it for the... Uh, the uh, client side, um, you know, everything else is pretty standard. Um, I used um, Bootstrap Studio, so that made it look really nice with Bootstrap Studio. It's really easy. Uh, they don't pay me to do this, but uh, I think they're a, a really great piece of software. Um, so I created this with Bootstrap Studio, and then I just added what I needed to add. So here you can see my HTMX is being uh, pulled in. And I'm using version 1.6.1. <clears throat> and uh, that's it. There is really no other code. There's no other magic. Actually, I, I don't even have the send part of this because if you press send, it'll do nothing uh, right now. But I'll leave that as an exercise for the reader. If somebody wants to donate that code, I'll put it on my GitHub. And I'm not even sure what I can do with that, but other than display it, maybe in a dialog box or modal box. But um, but yeah, that's about it. So what about the app side? Well, what does the Flask side look like? Well, um, I uh, render my index.html, my template, 
Uh, and all the logic really is that callback. Um, I, I check to see if the selected number is either position one or two or three, and that's the one that gets the value automatically assigned it. I know that gets kept, and the other two get the value none. Now, I didn't use five, I used three. If you want to do five, you can um, as, as the request, but I was just trying to keep this a short coding value. I didn't want to actually stress myself out. <laughs> And then uh, value becomes a value that was selected. So I, I use the ors uh, to basically strip out all the nuns and I end up with the answer. So if somebody pressed three, selected three, um, then the other two will be none as selections. And the, uh, the, the first one, let's say, is the value three. So value is assigned the value three because of the ors in this particular case. And then finally, I go through this set, which says if the value is still set to none and the value is not the value that was selected, then I go ahead and assign that value. In other words, I keep the old value as long as the, va the old value is not the currently selected value. That's what all this code does for us. And then finally, um, I make a list um, and, and those lists, all they do is add a, a, the word selected to the right position for selection box one, selection box two, selection box number three. Um, and that's it. And I return this entire block of code, which is exactly what's going to get replaced um, with the correct selection. And that is the entire magic behind that. There really isn't much to it. Anyways, this will be on my website and thank you much. I can't pronounce your name because it's in Russian and I don't know Russian. Anyways, have a good night or for you, probably a good morning. Uh, take care. God bless.